everybody welcome to mbbs help today we are going to study cell injury and its causes now the first question come in our mind what is cell injury so basically question itself telling there is injury into the cell now we will try to understand how this injury happened who did this and how severe it is suppose it is a normal cell now there is some kind of stress on it and the cell try to adapt itself in a stress environment this process is known as adaptation if stress persists then there is injury happen in the cell and that is reversible cell injury if we remove that stress causing agent then the cell come into adaptation phase afterward if cell gets physiological environment then cell become normal now maybe the normal cell get injury and directly injured into reversible cell injury after some time it may repair itself and become normal in reversible cell injury if the injury causing agent persist then the cell get severe injury that is known as irreversible cell injury there is one more possibility the normal cell get severe injury directly and become irreversible cell injury in irreversible cell injury the cell is going to die by the process of apoptosis or necrosis we will discuss these things step by step in our upcoming videos now we are going to discuss injury causing agent we can remember the injury causing agent by simple mnemonic and the mnemonic is cause of injury give a physician necessary information in cause c stands for chemical in of o stands for oxygen deprivation generally we use hypoxia for oxygen deprivation in injury i stands for infectious agents in give g stands for genetic factor a stands for aging in physician p stands for physical agents in necessary n stands for nutritional imbalance and in information i stands for immunologic reaction now we are going to discuss this causative agent one by one the first one is chemical there are many chemical which are responsible for cell injury like drugs poisons or pollution or maybe occupational exposure like asbestos etc can cause cell injury second one is oxygen deprivation means hypoxia this is one of the most important cell injury causing agent so we will discuss this little deeply hypoxia is the most common cause of cell injury this one is high yield hypoxia are basically four types to understand the hypoxia let us discuss normal gas exchange mechanism briefly then we try to find what is the problem in hypoxia this is a normal person who inhaled oxygen and exhaled carbon dioxide the oxygen go into the lung alveoli where gas exchange occur here oxygen combine with hemoglobin and form oxyhemoglobin then this oxyhemoglobin go through the blood to the tissue or cell then cell use oxygenated blood now we are going to see what and where is the problem there is first possibility of hypoxia is the person will go where there is less partial pressure of oxygen this hypoxia is known as hypoxic hypoxia there is second possibility of getting hypoxia is hemoglobin level is less and it won't make oxyhemoglobin so we called it anemic hypoxia now third possibility of having hypoxia is problem in the blood flow this is known as stagnant hypoxia now last possibility is the cell refuses to take oxygenated blood this hypoxia is histotoxic hypoxia you can also remember the hypoxia by one simple mnemonic and mnemonic for hypoxia is hash here h stands for hypoxic hypoxia example is high altitude a stands for anemic hypoxia example is anemia s stands for stagnant hypoxia if stagnant hypoxia occur in artery then we call this ischemia remember ischemia is the commonest cause of hypoxia this one is high yield do not confuse with commonest cause of cell injury if stagnant hypoxia occur in vein then we called it congestion h stands for histotoxic hypoxia example is cyanide poisoning now let us discuss some important relevant point of hypoxia the first one is carbon monoxide poisoning if someone using room heater in night in very poor ventilated room and the room heater is producing carbon monoxide now the person is inhaling carbon monoxide the carbon monoxide having a high binding affinity with hemoglobin as compared to oxygen 
so the carboxyhemoglobin increases and oxyhemoglobin decreases in that person this is the example of anemic hypoxia now second one is cyanide poisoning cyanide inhibit cytochrome c oxidase due to this electron transport chain shut down if electron transport chain is not working then there is no cellular respiration occur into the cell and the cell cannot use oxygenated blood this is the example of histotoxic hypoxia now we completed the hypoxia topic third example of cell injury is infectious agent pathogen can directly damage the cell or may be by the toxin now fourth example of cell injury is genetic factor in this congenital disorder like inborn error of metabolism causes cell injury if we talk particularly about this disorder then body can not take energy from the food because there is defect in specific protein which is responsible for breakdown of the food fifth example is aging due to aging free radical injury increases which is responsible for cell injury sixth example is physical agent like trauma burn radiation etc can cause cell injury seventh example is nutritional imbalance if body does not get enough or proper nutrition then cell injury occur like marasma squasi or kar obesity vitamin deficiencies etc and the last cause of cell injury is immunologic reaction in this the body damage itself like autoimmune disease or hypersensitivity reaction is also responsible for cell injury that's it for today i believe you like this video and this is going to help you in your studies do like or unlike but please give feedback in a comment section thank you